Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bore video. Today's video is a follow up to a video that I um, released earlier about uh, a Z2 uh, pressure cleaner and if you didn't see that video I put uh, up uh, in the card above. So after unboxing uh, I did not use that appliance yet so I'm here to try it and I thought I would try first on my driveway but I uh, genuinely don't have time for this and I decided to start uh, experimenting on the side house slab and uh, what I would like to do is uh, clean this part and it's a bit of uh, I guess uh, it's not a dirt it's more like a mold this part of the house doesn't get much sun and um, but when it rains, it rains on the angle and uh, this area stays, uh, I guess, uh, damp for, for quite a while and mold grows. And I'm not sure where it grows in some parts, but not on others. But the, I guess, uh, my uh, test will be, can I clean this part of slab? Uh, with the pressure cleaner. So I think I will do two separate experiments Just before air conditioner I start cleaning without chlorine just uh, pure water pressure And if it works well, it works well. If it doesn't work well, I will make another video where I compare how it cleaned uh, with uh, application of chlorine before uh, uh, blasting it or without so uh, that it's oh I just uh, decided to create a short video to show you what my area of work will be and then I continue when it's done and I probably do uh, a little bit here just before a conditioner so you can see the difference between uh, before cleaning and after cleaning as well so I'll see you later after I finish cleaning okay here we are that will be my first time I ever used this uh, pressure cleaner. The previous one was a weaker version of 1450 PSI. So because it's my first time when I started, I may need to adjust this nozzle. And this nozzle is a precise delivery of um, the shape, I guess, of the blast. So please forgive me if I uh, think a bit about water or water blast cannon but the whole idea I would like is to show how you started for the first time and what is uh, its capability to clean the mold uh, on this non-dryway uh, slab so it will be a bit of noise but please stick with me let's keep going First impressions, first of all, sorry about the noises from the pump um, because I'm using it for the first time. Uh, probably the water hose had some bit of um, air in it, so 
when it happens the pump kind of skips but I think some first results are in I will let you to judge so let's come a little bit closer so that's the bit um, I just quickly clean and that's the bit is unclean so uh, my first impressions are look the pump is yes definitely a little bit more stronger than 1450 psi um, small brother of this but you still need to adjust the nozzle to get good result out of here so i think um, judging by the progress it would take me uh, a while to clean all that path near the house so i uh, expected a little bit um, i guess higher pressure um, coming from a nozzle but that had maybe to do with the cannon as well i'm not disappointed uh, it's still all good so what i'll do i will keep cleaning the path and i'll share with you my thoughts uh, tips and tricks as i usually do in another video so this is my first go at the moldy concrete slab Thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time. Well, I thought I finished with my video, but I couldn't help myself. I love the toy, so I decided to go on the side of my house, which is a kind of slab, and the bit of front of my house, the front of my house driveway. <clears throat> Just a standard size of driveway, but it's too big to finish. So I'm taking a break after two hours of non-stop work. And what I would like to do is show you pictures before and after. So here's the picture of um, kind of side slab, which is more mold than soot. So this is the picture before. And here's the picture after. after. So as you can see, I'm not sure if it's clear on the image, you can pause and, 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 and rewind again, uh, but uh, it works very well. What I notice is to detach that mold, I have to narrow the stream. So while the climbing, the pressure is quite significant, I never use the petrol one. The, the, uh, the, the pressure cleaner, the current one is way uh, more powerful than 1450 PSI, but I wish I would have more pressure. I'm not sure if more pressure would start damaging other things, but on the concrete, yes, definitely would like more pressure. And there's nothing wrong with what appliance does. Uh, it just would take longer to clean all the concrete areas that I wanted to clean. So, when I finished that side slab, I went to the front of the house and it's funny because the mold or, or the blackness of the, of the concrete uh, layer is a bit different in the front of the house. I think it's a bit of mold, but also a lot of soot and kind of sand and dust and other things. So uh, I found that Gurney does better job on mold and not Gurney, but the Ozi Azito uh, tool and slightly worse job on the suit and other things. When I say worse job, it's not that it doesn't clean it. It cleans it thoroughly and you can clean your, all your driveway. It just slower pace that you need to go uh, with to clean the driveway. So here's a picture of my driveway before I start cleaning. And here's a picture of my driveway after I start cleaning. So let me know what you think about this. And I definitely create another video with uh, my impressions, tips and tricks and uh, what to expect. But what I can say for now, I'm cleaning now for three hours straight nonstop. And if there would be plastic pump, definitely would fail by now three hours and uh, the Azito um, not shown any signs of slowing down and if anything will happen I've still got three years warranty and there's no way in manual it says that it should stop um, to um, uh, give it a rest. Again look I'm not a Azito person if you um, keen uh, about Bosch I just put all the links down below as usual 
and I appreciate that you watch my video and if you'd like me to explain and tips and tricks and my first impressions anything else please let me know in the comments below I think I'll create a video in three weeks time because I'm taking a little bit of break from YouTube um, but for now you can watch my watch my first video what I see to uh, pressure cleaners I'm comparing between so one is the early generation weaker one which is 14 50 psi's and that's the new one which is uh, like uh, much more pressure and uh, the previous one had the plastic pump did not fail on me but still uh, pressure was just gentle enough to clean car and roof this one I specifically purchased cleaning concrete and mold so let me know what do you think and if anything else that you would like to know. Bye for now, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.